This is the Rocky Hill Memorial. The idea for the memorial was conceived by the people of Goulburn in 1918, even before the war had ended. They were like many others in small towns across Australia. They sought to remember those who'd served, and in particular, those who never came home. More than 330,000 Australians served overseas during the First World War, and more than 60,000 never returned home. Inside, the Roll of Honour lists the, the names of those who served from the district and also those who died. For those who lost loved ones overseas and would likely never visit their actual graves, the memorial served as a substitute place to grieve, a place to remember. So Rocky Hill War Memorial and Museum is the icon of Goldberg. People love it for its historical significance and uh, its beauty. Throughout the year we have almost 22,000 to 25,000 people um, coming every year. Yeah, they come from Sydney, Canberra, regional New South Wales or other states or even across the world. Yeah, so um, I think they come to commemorate and we have people throughout the year to commemorate and also on Anzac Day, they come and commemorate, they show their respect, but I also think that they want to know more. So this museum is pretty rich. It, um, it have objects of World War One, World War Two, World War, Vietnam War. So yeah, and also I think that um, we have lots of parents and school groups coming to make the children aware um, of the history and uh, they want to teach them about the sacrifices of their ancestors and also um, lots of ha things are happening in this museum we have ex different sorts of exhibition throughout the year um, like right now we are having an exhibition on World War II so yeah and new objects and relics are always continuously being added to the museum through donation or by purchase yeah, so I think uh, this museum and uh, this memorial is pretty vibrant and very interesting to see. I find the two canals in front of the uh, museum very interesting. Um, actually, they were captured during World War I, one, one from France and one from Palestine. And uh, they came, these two came to Goulburn in 1920 and they, they were in the Belmore Park for a couple of years. Then they were brought to the War Memorial when uh, it was officially opened. So I think these two canons are very associated with the history of Goldburn and with the history of War Memorial. So I find it very interesting and uh, yeah, they're pretty gorgeous to look at too. Yeah. So people come and um, they are they become very proud of what uh, what their grandparents or parents did for uh, for the war and and also they get happy they get sad they get excited and some people they share their stories too so yeah and um, um, sometimes some of them really thank me for what I'm doing and what makes me very proud and that's what I enjoy the most about what working here. Mm -hmm.